Hello everyone and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where our trip here to Walt Disney World continues. Today we're here at the Magic Kingdom. It is a lovely sunny day for the Magic Kingdom today so we're going to take you across the whole park and get on as many attractions as we can. Along with that we'll check out some of the entertainment, we'll stay for the nighttime spectacular of course, happily ever after as we continue on visiting every single Disney theme park around the world. After this it means we've done all four parks at Magic Kingdom and that leaves us with eight more Disney parks around the world and we're going to be going to the all this year oh there's nothing quite like the atmosphere of walking into a magic kingdom park and looking down and seeing cinderella castle just down there as well oh it's beautiful parks open until 11 p.m this evening so it means we've got plenty of time to get lots of attractions in and also enjoy the park at night yeah with the uh, timings at the moment that means we're going to get like four hours in magic kingdom in the dark and you know me i love any theme park at night but especially a disney park so it's going to be great, loving the hours. You want to put kids together? Hey. Stay there, Susan. Stay there, Susan. It's always wonderful seeing the partner statue here as well, right in front of Cinderella Castle. Beautiful. We're going to start off our day here in Tomorrowland with a ride on one of my favourites here at Magic Kingdom. It's the People Mover. Hey, there it is, running around all the buildings. I love this ride so much. TTA Blue Line, non stop service around Tomorrowland. 10 minute wait, and we're off on the People Mover. Oh, I love this thing so much. Some of the best views in the park. All around Tomorrowland, there's the Astro Orbiter up there on top. Greetings intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Mover, presented by Enterprise. <laughs> I'm Morag 5, who will guide aboard this Space Mountain over there, and of course the Tron. Still on the virtual queue, Tron, so we'll try and get one. You get two chances a day. One at 7 a.m. off-site. And then of course you can do one o'clock in the afternoon when you're in the park and you've already scanned in. Oh yes. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future. Right by two of my favorite spots. Did you know Progress City inspired Epcot? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny miraculous. I love a good circuit, and these are two of the best tracks in the cosmos. For our speedway just down there. Magic Kingdom Classic. And of course, Tron. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get a reservation at one o'clock. Really hoping it comes off that virtual kind of queue at some point in the future. I'm not a huge fan of that system. You should just be able to queue up when you want to. Obviously, you need to make a reservation. Same as Guardians down at Epcot. That's also still on it. Hey, nice interaction with the other people movers making their way around. And the good thing is with that, you also go through Space Mountain, which is really cool as well. And that really adds to the experience on this. Also a great ride to do at night as well at Magic Kingdom. It never really gets more than a 10, 15 minute wait as well. So yeah, it's always a good one to do. Oh, windy. To your right is the Astro Orbiter, our celestial symbol of interplanetary harmony and fellowship. Hop aboard and launch high above Tomorrowland for a spin amongst the planets. 50 minute wait down there for Space Mountain, not too bad. Gorgeous. That's how right on the people move. Tomorrowland Transit Authority Station. My fellow sentient life. Well, we just enjoyed our ride there over on the People Mover, a classic in Tomorrowland. I love starting on that because you get some great aerial views looking out over that part of the park 
and also the castle as well. We've crossed over the hub now, making our way down towards Frontierland for a ride on Big Thunder Mountain. Love showing you the Liberty Bell River where we just there there. We'll definitely be having a ride on there today. One of my favorites. And we got an advertised wait of 45 minutes for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Let's go. Really look forward to getting back on this as always. Disney classic coaster in Magic Kingdom. of bones around here oh that was great fun they were literally loving it in front <laughs> i don't blame them what a great ride a full on-ride pov there from the awesome big thunder mountain did you enjoy that i love big thunder mountain and people was enjoying themselves so much everyone's got their arms <laughs> up and everyone was loving it it's a great layout as well like going around all the rocks some really good near misses as you're going around just overall a fantastic ride and a disney classic and the good thing is you're going to get another version of the ride over at tokyo later in the year another version TikTok. <laughs> and that's the thing is we go around to all the different disney parks you get some unique attractions you get some that are similar and you get some that are identical pretty much you know, so you're really going to get to see that with the three Asia parks that we're going to be doing later this year. Should we be on the road, eh? Let's go. Let's go and give that a ride round. And you can see how construction yeah. continues on Tiana's bio adventure opening this summer. And here comes the train. Yeah, we're boarding here in Frontierland. Normally we do Main Street to Main Street, but we thought we'll get on here in Frontierland and do the loop round. Gracias. Those of you who've been riding with me for a spell already know how much I love. That is my favourite view of Big Thunder Mountain. I love it. I'm fixing for something a bit wilder. Big Thunder Mountain is the place. Is there? The trains have a mind of their own. Change in 
scenery means we've left the rattle and rumble of that old gold mine behind and entered my favorite leg of the journey. Lush wilderness, calm waters, and untamed beauty. Is that a stop here in Fancy Land? Storybook Circus? Just got the three stations on the Walt Disney World Railroad. Next stop is a place that's always ahead of the curve. And not just because we're on a straightaway. Our metropolis of mechanics. You may board your light cycle and join the games. Fair warning, users. Competition is fierce. Don't pass the Tron. Stick together. It's your only hope for victory. Love the music of a Tron, can't wait to get back on there later. And the good news is, we've got a reservation. <laughs> our trip around the Magic Kingdom is almost complete. We're now approaching our most charming destination, Main Street, USA. A place where the only thing sweeter than the townsfolk is the treats. Fully seated until the train comes to a full and complete stop, and I issue the all clear before exiting. Please listen for that all clear before standing and exiting the train. We are in motion. Please remain fully seated. As always, see you real soon. See you real soon. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren y cuide a los pequeños. Someday, I'd be the conductor of this train. And wouldn't you know it? With a bit of gumption and a dash of magic, here I am. So believe it when I say that around here, anything is possible. Well, that was a really nice, enjoyable ride round on the Walt Disney World Railroad. Love having that attraction back. Of course, it was shut for like four years during the construction of Tron, so it's nice to get back on there. Here's a look also at the construction taking place on Tiana's Bio Adventure. Going to be opening this year, summer 2024. As you can see from the signage, this was updated just last week actually. Yeah, you can see a lot of the work seems to be done now here on the exterior. And yeah, look forward to experiencing that at some point. It's also going to be opening at Disneyland in California this year as well. Of course, both of the former Splash Mountain attractions have been rethemed into Tiana. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what it's going to be like. Of course, with it being the New Orleans theme, I'm still intrigued to see how it's all going to fit together, especially with it being right in the heart of Frontierland. There is rumours that some of these buildings could be changing and these different facades like the Peco's Bill restaurant, but I guess we'll find out what happens in the future. Not long to go and summer will be here. So yeah, maybe this will be another project to kind of make a mini New Orleans area in the middle of Frontierland. I'm not too sure. It'll be interesting just to see what Disney do with that one. Right next door though, a lot of work is ongoing with the transformation of the one and only Country Bear Jamboree. And that's located in this building just over here. The good news is they still have the Country Bears out roaming around even when the attractions close. But yeah, this is going to be back later this year and they're actually updating it. It's going to be a new version and basically the Country Bears are going to be singing like all sorts of Disney classics and yeah, it sounds like this is going to be pretty good. So I'm a big Country Bear Jamboree fan, so I'm looking forward to it. And yeah, that's going to be opening again later this year. Love Frontierland though. I think we're going to make our way round now to the Haunted Mansion. And we're making our way into the Haunted Mansion. And the Hatbox Ghost has made his way here now to Magic Kingdom. So I'm looking forward to seeing him. Or is it your I do love the Horrid Mansion, but this version definitely doesn't have the atmosphere of the other versions around the world. They just let so many people in to the stretcher room at one time. It just packs it out and really ruins the atmosphere. But I am looking forward to seeing the Hatbox Ghost.
us at our ride there on the Haunted Mansion. I do love that Disney classic. Like I say, this version doesn't have quite the same ambience, mainly because it's packed so many people in, but I guess we are at the busiest theme park in the world. Uh, it's just for me, it's more that transition from the stretching room onto the ride itself. It kind of funnels everybody down, but it gets really congregated, doesn't it? I was just completely <laughs> squished like a sardine. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoyed seeing the hat box ghost there. I thought he was a nice addition. Not too sure on the placement. I think if it was me, I would have maybe had him in the attic a little bit later in the ride. Um, but still, nice to see the hat box ghost in there because it's a really cool effect. Right, we're back down here by the castle, ready for the parade now. We are ready to watch the Festival of Fantasy Parade. Oh, it's really good. It's been running for many years, but it's always great seeing it, especially at the huge dragon. So we'll get in position somewhere in front of the castle or Main Street USA, ready for the parade. You've just seen some highlights there from the Festival of Fantasy Parade. Loving the soundtrack, and I tell you what, it was nice watching it a bit further back with the castle in the background today. I enjoyed that so much. You can't watch a parade and not have a huge smile on your face. Oh, it is great, it really is. My favourite float on there is definitely the huge dragon, though. The dragon is so good, and he was breathing fire, which is even better. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I really do like that. It's definitely the most impressive out of all the floats, in my opinion. Great parade. We're going to make our way now into Adventureland and head down towards Pirates of the Caribbean. Love these buildings in Adventureland. So many details. That's what we love so much about the Disney parks. You know, it's all them details and little signs like that just up there. You know, that really add to the experience. The soundtrack's great as well for Adventureland. Here we go then, yo ho, yo ho, Pirates Life for me, 25 minute wait, let's go on Pirates.
ride on Pirates of the Caribbean. It's all the smell, the feeling, and just seeing all the animatronics as well. It comes together in a brilliant overall experience. I'm a huge Pirates fan. I love the classic dog ride, and what Disney did with that is fantastic. My favorite version, cannot wait to get on it again, at Shanghai Disneyland later this year as part of that huge Disney year on the channel. Way to experience it, Charlotte. Oh, I'm looking forward to getting on that one. Oh, it is crazy, like the amount of tech involved in it. Yeah, it's going to be great. And uh, yeah, we're on the nice food boat just here now for a trip around the rivers on the Liberty Bell. <laughs> I'm leaving Liberty Square just here. There's the Hall of Presidents over there as well. If you've never seen that before, I would definitely recommend seeing it. Animatronic show featuring all the different presidents of the United States over the years. I looked down towards Tom Sawyer Island just there. In fact, it was on there only last week when we filmed our reveal video for going to all 12 Disney theme parks throughout 2024. And make sure you check out that if you haven't already seen it. Spend quite a bit of time just walking around Tom Sawyer Island and you get on one of the rafts just here and it takes you over so you can have an explore around. <laughs> Some of the most impressive views of Big Thunder Mountain from up here as well, in my opinion. Really get to appreciate the scale of the attraction. All the queue line off to the left and the station, and of course the mountain just off to the right. And we'll see it a little bit closer as we continue on around the river. with the sound of the boat going round. Rest my feet as well. <laughs> <laughs> Always like having a good walk around on the boat as we're going round. Seeing all the different scenes. ride around there on the Liberty Bell. I do enjoy the riverboats and yeah that was fantastic getting on there. Looking forward to getting back to Disneyland though and of course getting on at the Columbia over there. That'll be nice. I just cannot wait to get back to Disneyland. I've missed it so much. I know that you've been on the Columbia before. I don't believe so now. I think it was closed when we was there. Yeah it was so uh, looking forward to uh, getting on that. Swiss Family Treehouse there and yeah we're back in Adventureland and making our way now onto the classic Jungle Cruise.
that straight kiddos. That's how straight bee horses like to sleep on their sides. Eyes wide open. He looks dead. <laughs> tired. Dead tired. Yeah, we're gonna let him rest if he needs it. Oh my goodness, would you look at that? That is a, a sight to see. Look at all those rocks on that beach. That's crazy. There's nothing else on that beach though. Nothing else. We do not see skimmer's relationship. Do you want to meet my parents? Yeah, perfect. Just like my ex will never hear from them again. The people have been trying to tell me Skipper Katie, your dog is so easy and lucky you can do it. Yeah, jump from that. Those are chimpanzees. Yeah, they're really not great at their job either. That one in the middle is going to match to Disneyland. You'll probably get very far with that one. Now right here, this chip up here, uh, the one on top, she's my favorite in the entire jungle. Her name is Annette. on board the world famous jungle cruise great seeing the backside of water going in the temple and all the animals on there wasn't it i love the jungle cruise it's so cheesy but i love it that's the thing it's all them jokes on there that are great and of course the skipper can kind of change things as well and make it a very different experience each time you go on there meaning that it's very rideable it's also a great night ride in my opinion it's quite atmospheric uh, but it's not great for filming at night so i thought we'd go on it in the daytime For a bit of a snack this afternoon they're now here from main street usa in the ice cream parlor gone for the nice chocolate brownie sundae and you can pick two different scoops of ice cream so i've gone for vanilla and chocolate i dug into it way too quick <laughs> <laughs> you've gone for mint just there it was the shape of mickey but yeah it's kind of collapsing to the right and she said oh i'll give you a few extra cherries yeah i've got like three down wow. there as well an extra cherry for charlotte just there yeah these are like nine dollars each but yeah you do get quite a big one that was delicious. I would definitely recommend the ice cream from there on the end of Main Street USA. And also you saw some footage of the wonderful pianist just before that there as well. Adding some atmosphere to Main Street. I do love the fact they have like live musicians throughout the parks. Of course you have the band that comes out every so often as well. Oh, it is great. Nothing like the atmosphere of a Disney park. Right then, our time has come for our virtual queue here on Tron. Yes, yeah, still the only option to ride it is by joining the virtual queue at 7 a.m. or at one o'clock in the afternoon once you've scanned in. Or you can buy a paid lightning lane for it. But yeah, we did manage to get it once again. We're pretty good at getting these virtual queues, to be honest. But yeah, I still wish you could just get in the line and queue up. And the thing is, everybody congregates up here. I see everybody standing there now. They're not in the queue. They're all just kind of waiting for their time slot. So yeah, I am hoping that that goes. By the time we're next here at Walt Disney World, hopefully that system has gone. To be digitized into the world of Tron. got the pre-show there <laughs> yeah it started but obviously the train didn't go down the launch in time but yeah it was still nice to see it we did get it the other night though when we came on off camera but it was perfect which is good we have made our way now here into the station all the atmospheric lighting and look at the light cycles themselves all the lighting package on them they do look the part they really do 
Always look forward to getting back on Tron and this station is awesome. Let's go Team Blue! to Space Mountain. There it is. I think we're going to be in for a bit of rain tonight. It's blowing up for something tonight. Like you just feel it in the air. Look at this. You all right there, Charlotte? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing at this time of year. You know, it was baking hot this afternoon. That's it now. I've got my jeans on. You have to have a spare pair of clothes and you back all the time. Yeah, you do like coming in February. Yeah, that weather just changes. In the daytime, it's something warm. Now we're getting into the evening, it'll be much cooler. I mean, yeah, probably some rain tonight. Well, it's starting to go down out here at Magic Kingdom. The good thing is, with the 11 o'clock close, we've got plenty of time for night rides. For this, we're going to make our way on the park's famous indoor roller coaster. It is, of course, Space Mountain just over there. We love this original version of the ride. So come and join us. Of course, you'll only see a little bit of footage in the POV because it's mostly in the dark. Let's go. It's about all you're going to see on the rise. So I'm just putting a little bit of footage of the bits you can actually see. Hey! Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was brilliant. And it'll look like a 20 second ride on the video. Oh, it's so good. Brilliant. 
Well, we had our ride there on Space Mountain, the original version of that attraction here at Magic Kingdom. It's a fantastic ride. How did you find it? It is my favourite version of Space Mountain. That's one of the best rides I've ever had. And I was on the very back row and I was flying around. <laughs> if you're at the back, it's great because you pulled down them drops and round the corners. Obviously, I only put a little bit of on ride footage in, and that was a couple of the tunnels and on the lift hill because you're completely in darkness other than them sections. But honestly, the camera doesn't do it justice. It's a brilliant ride. It's a good long coaster as well. It's some of the drops in there are crazy, yeah, it's a great ride. Uh, also this year, you'll get to finish off all the Space Mountains. Oh, I can't wait to see what the other ones are like. And it's the same for me too, because even though I've been to all the Disney parks, I'm still missing one Space Mountain, and that is the one at Tokyo Disneyland in Japan. When I was there in 2017, the attraction was closed for its annual maintenance. Good news is, when we go this year, we should be getting it, and I'm really pleased, because it's actually closing later this year, and to make way for a brand new version of Space Mountain, opening in a few years so i'm looking forward to ticking that off as we continue on with our disney year up next it's time for a walt disney classic it is of course the carousel of progress i love this especially being a big fan of walt disney classic attractions and also audio animatronics let's go celebrate Valentine's Day today. What year is it? Oh, right around the turn of the century. And believe me, things couldn't be any better than they are today. Man has a dream, and that's what's wrong. He his dream with mine and mine and when... She's got us all roped into performing in their program, and right? I've decided we're going as George and Martha Washington, dear. Oh, the father of our country. <laughs> that's a role that really fits me. He had his dream and that's the sky. He's gone only dream for mind and heart. And when Ah, yes, a new age of electronic civilization is upon us. Hey, Dad, what do you think of my jack o' lantern? Oh, oh, boy, that's scary. That's because I'm using my beautiful sister Patty's picture for a model. <laughs> Down, Rover. <laughs> beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day i love that so much some highlights there from the carousel of progress it's a 20 minute experience and of course you go around on that spinning carousel through all the different scenes and it really is great and of course a walt disney classic from the 1964 new york world's fair really enjoyed that and yeah appreciating audio animatronics and the amazing soundtrack it's one of my favorite things in this park i really like that <laughs> Look at uh, the man has tea party. All up and out, that's good. We're making our way up into Fantasyland, and yeah, I think we're gonna get in the queue for the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. And that should take us through to Happily Ever After. The nighttime spectacular. Looking forward to seeing that again. One of our favourite ever Disney nighttime shows. We love it. Da -da 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 -da. Hey!
go. It's a good night ride that is. Seven horse by train. Love this little scene at the end as well. Uh, Snow White having a bit of a dance. And of course you got the seven horse in there as well. <laughs> well it was a bit of a white ride but you know what, I think the rain put people off. Because yeah, we moved really fast. We waited about 30 minutes there for the seven horse mine train. And yeah, again, you can't really see a lot on the GoPro there at night, but it is a better coaster to go on at night. The only criticism with it is a little bit short. I wish it had another lifter or maybe even a launch would be nice on there. Uh, but no, it was great getting on it. Did you enjoy it, Charlotte? I love that one. It's brilliant. I love the indoor show scene with all the little stone doors. It's so cute. It's great. And everybody's singing up the lifter as well, which oh, is I good. Know. <laughs> We've got about 25 minutes to go then until happily ever after. Could be a bit of a wet showing of the fireworks tonight. But you know what? There's something so special about a Disney park at night and in the rain. Uh, like look at it, like all the lights just kind of reflect on the floor. And look at the castle and the carousel here in Fantasyland. Yeah, it looks amazing after we've had rain. Like, I do quite enjoy it actually. I don't like it when it's throwing it down, but this is just quite nice tonight, atmospheric. <laughs> Look at Cinderella Castle at night. The camera doesn't do it justice. Well, this is actually my favorite view of the castle, just off to the side here, because you get to see all the nice rivers that run around the side. And of course, underneath the bridge, the leads over to the castle. Anyway, there's only 15 minutes to go until Happily Ever After. We actually really enjoy now watching a Disney nighttime show a little bit further back. So we're gonna go and stand on Main Street USA. And of course, we'll put some highlights in over the next few minutes from this awesome nighttime spectacular. It's coming up right about now.
journey comes to an end. Some happily ever after. We adore that show, don't we, Charlotte? I love that show so much. It's so emotional with the soundtrack. It's beautiful. Oh, it really is fantastic. And along with that, the firework quality is brilliant as well. It really is. And just the fact as well, you've got the huge fireworks throughout the whole show. You then got the pyro on the castle as well. All the projections. And actually standing further back there on Main Street USA is my favourite place now. Mainly because you've got all the Main Street projections that are really good, aren't they? You get a great view down on Main Street because. If you're too close to the castle, you don't get the projection, so it's nice if you're still on Main Street. And also, if you're too close, because the fireworks, like the big ones, are launched much further back from Magic Kingdom, the castle kind of blocks them, so you better actually stand in that little bit further back. And also, the sound quality is much better as well on Main Street, because the speakers are just like much louder, you can hear the audio better. It's a brilliant show. It was a bit of a wet one, but you know what? We made the most of it. We're going to make our way now here to Fantasyland for Peter Pan's Flight. <laughs> shot there here in Fantasyland with all the buildings lit up and the moon just peeking through the clouds. It's not raining now but the good news is the rain did fill out some of the crowds. It didn't wait too long there for Peter Pan's flight. Always worth heading there after the fireworks in my opinion. And we're going on to it's a small world now. Advertise wait of 20 minutes. Yeah it doesn't look like it though. Looks well, pretty much walk on to me. This is your time for getting lots of rides in there. I mean, on a night, Disney parks do tend to filter out anyway, but especially Magic Kingdom, and even more so when you've had a bit of rain. Let's go on. It's a long version of the ride, this. I do love it. And it's a walk-on. I love this here, because that's Pinocchio's Village House restaurant. And there we go, they've got all the signs. <laughs> Say Donald Duck. Say Minnie Mouse. Say. <laughs> I love that. How they have the sides up. Bit of interaction from the restaurant. <laughs>
bands on, you can see you got the little custom end in there. Goodbye Charlotte, and goodbye Sean. It really is a small world after all. I do love it, it's a small world, you know Charlotte. The soundtrack after a while. <laughs> oh, I love it. You're not the biggest fan yourself though, are you? I'm not a massive fan of dolls and stuff. It's a bit creepy for me. Oh, see, I love it. But you know what? You either love it or hate it. And I definitely really enjoy it. And yeah, we're now going on the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Fantastic that is, and I do like how you bounce around with Tigger as well. And we're going for a nice undersea adventure with Ariel just here now. Looking forward to this. As always, great dark ride. Omni mover ride system. This park at night is gorgeous. And it's another walk on tonight here in Fantasyland. Still 90 minutes to go until park close as well. I love these evenings at Magic where it really filters out. <laughs> dark ride that is and I love how much movement there is on the ride as well and the music's fantastic always enjoyable isn't it there I have to sing along the whole way round it's got such a catchy song and of course the Ursula animatronic is amazing on there too fantastic we're just down here now in Storybook Circus five minute wait for Dumbo the Flying Elephants of course you've got two in this park for capacity you've also got the Barnstormer just behind it but yeah it's closed at the moment just plan on getting a ride on Goofy's roller coaster yeah, we'll see if it opens up when we come off Dumbo. Looks like it's only a temporary closure. Love how this rise lit up at night. And it's that quiet tonight. We've had our own elephant there, Charlotte. In front just there. May as well make the most of it and spread out. Loads of empty Dumbos tonight. Great views from up here. Look at Cinderella Castle. It's just so exciting, the fact we're going to be able to take you all along to see all six Disney resorts this year, all six castles coming up in 2024 on Theme Park Worldwide. Makes me so excited to take you all along for that adventure. Dumbo! Oh, I love Magic Kingdom nights. We're going to make our way now onto a walk on Tomorrowland Speedway because why not? And the thing is, the rain stopped like an hour ago and it's perfect this evening. Like, it's not even too cold tonight. Perfect. Let's go and have a ride round. Here we go on Tomorrowland Speedway. Charlotte's driving. I don't know how it's going to go. I need concentration. It could be bumpy. Like, obviously, we're going around on the rail, but sometimes we won't be to the side where Charlotte's driving it. It's never bumpy. It's always smooth. <laughs> I don't know about that. 
look at this tonight. I turned into a big kid at Disney parks. That's why I love them so much. Like people moving, running over, Space Mountain over there, Tron. Oh, this is just amazing. You see what I mean? Like when you had a bit of rain, like look at the floor. It just makes everything so shiny. All the lights reflecting. Oh, I love it. I love Disney parks to bits. Huge part of my life now. Hey, there goes Tron. What a great view. I tell you what, them two attractions complement each other perfect, don't they? Tron and space. To be honest, this isn't too bumpy tonight, Charlotte. Fantastic driving tonight. There she is. <laughs> Comment down below, let us know when your next Disney Parks trip is going to be. And also, where is it going to be? Is it here at Magic Kingdom, Walt Disney World, Disneyland Paris? Maybe it's one of the Asia parks. Comment down below. And of course, let us know. This drive is so good tonight. You are good. People Mover is running around M2. Still over an hour left of part time as well. Oh, what an amazing night we're having here at Magic Kingdom. Great drive there from Charlotte on Tomorrowland Speedway. I drove so well there tonight. Pretty good, pretty good. Here we go, Star Command headquarters now. Time for Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger Spin, 15 minutes. And it's another walk on. Not the best guns on this version of the ride. Because they're actually fastened to the ride system, so you can't really get much movement from them. Some good theming though. These power hungry robots are Zerg's first line of defense. Neutralize them with your laser cannons. And of course, you got the little joystick where you can spin yourself around as well. Top left there. because of the guns, is it really? I really don't like the guns on there. I like when you can be able to move them, but it's so hard to move around. Yeah, there's some good theming on there though, and that's the main thing, especially when it's walk-on. We're gonna make our way now into an attraction that we don't really go on that much, and that is Astro Orbiter. No matter when you want to ride this, even on a quiet night at Magic Kingdom, still got a queue. It's only advertised at 15, so you know what, let's go for it. Not been on it for a while. Only waited about five minutes so far, and into the lift we go. Yeah, for this one, you have to get in a lift that takes you up to the road. Hey, I tell you what, it's a bit of a squeeze for two in one of these rockets, but we've gone for it. <laughs> yeah, I've not been on this since Tron opened either, actually. Yeah, good view of Tron. Oh, look at this, you're really high up over magic. Wow. Contemporary over there, Bay Lake Tower, the parking lot. <laughs> Castle looks great as well. Woo! Yeah, anyway, like 10 minutes total. It's good up here, isn't it? It is good. <laughs> it's a bit tight, but it always amazes me with these because they tilt quite a bit to the right hand side. Very cool at night there with all the lights. I've seen a video of someone on here when Happily Ever After's on and seeing the fireworks over there, but that's pretty special. Yeah, this is awesome at night. What an action-packed day we're having here at Magic Kingdom. I wasn't expecting getting all these rides in. Tonight with it being quiet has really helped. 
We're gonna have a re-ride now on Space Mountain, I think, because that's quiet. So we'll see you after. Well, we've just ended our day here at Magic Kingdom with a ride on Space Mountain. We thought, why not make the most of it, being a bit quieter tonight, and have another ride on there. We're now gonna make our way down Main Street, USA. For me, there's nothing more magical than walking down Main Street at night with the music, the lights. It is wonderful, it really is. And I tell you what, we have had a brilliant day. We've done so many attractions, because the park's been quite busy. Not as busy as some of the other days, because obviously, you know, we filmed this vlog um, later on in our trip. We've had a couple of days actually in Magic Kingdom prior to filming where it was much busier. And yeah, it has been a little bit quieter than it was today. But still, it is the busiest theme park in the world. You know, we've done really well. It's been absolutely brilliant. Main Street, USA. Well, it wouldn't be a day of Magic Kingdom without ending with the Mickey chocolate chip cookie there. $7, including tax. But you know what? It is delicious, and I would definitely recommend one of these, especially at the end of your day. Well, that brings us to the end of our visits here to Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. We have had a brilliant day, haven't we, today? It has been fantastic today. We've only had a little bit of rain, but that hasn't put us off. Yeah, it was a bit windy earlier on as well, but you know what? That rain just got rid of some of the crowds tonight, meaning we've got so many rides in. In fact, we've done all of our favourites in the park, all the major rides we've done. It's only a few smaller bits that we've missed out on today, uh, but you know what? It has been fantastic. It's getting around Magic Kingdom again. It's a brilliant park, it really is. There's so many attractions in here and that's the thing you know you can spend multiple days in this park and still find new things to do there's a lot of smaller things as well lots of filler additions uh, we see some great entertainment today as well haven't we yeah we saw the festival of fantasy parade and we saw happily ever after which is my favorite oh that was great and also just seeing things like the pianist you know earlier on it's little things like that that add to the vibe and the atmosphere of this park it really is special and of course I know we spoke about it a lot now we're just getting to see all six of the different magic kingdom parks this year uh, as part of that Disney tour is going to be really special and seeing all the differences between them all uh, really excited of course to get back to Disneyland in California it's been over two years since we were last there the Asia parks Charlotte's never done and of course I've not been since 2017 so that's going to be brilliant and so much to look forward to and of course heading back to Disneyland Paris as well but no what a great day uh, it's been great I think uh, Space Mountain has been my favorite hasn't it I love Space Mountain <laughs> it's just so much fun oh it was great it really was but I think the classics as well are always really good here things like Jungle Cruise, that interaction, um, along with that, enjoyed like the river boats. There's so much in this park. Look forward to returning in the future for Tiana when that opens, and also as well the new version of the Country Bear Jamboree. What a day! Longest vlog of the trip, and we've packed so much in with loads of on ride PO over the years as well. We're going to be making our way next down to the Universal Orlando Resort. It's Mardi Gras there, so that's going to be coming up for you all. I cannot wait to see because I've never seen that event before. There's going to be two vlogs from Universal, of course, Universal Studios Florida, and also. Also, Islands of Adventure, and then after them, two next vlogs coming up. We'll be back up here at Walt Disney World, where we're going to be doing our first ever vlog from Blizzard Beach, which is the water park uh, that Charlotte's never done, and I've never filmed it before on the channel because it's rarely open when we normally visit around September time. So that's going to be good. We've also got a couple of other bonus vlogs coming up from Walt Disney World as well. But here tonight from Magic Kingdom, that leaves us with one final thing to say: get, get out there and keep on riding. riding. See you at Universal.